Hi and welcome! How are you doing? I'm doing fine. The weather is really nice. It's sunny and there's no clouds. The last two weeks I took a break. That's why I didn't upload new long-form content. Now I'm back with a crazy idea. Can you use Photoshop without a mouse or a tracking device like a trackpad or a graphic tablet? How far can I go before needing the mouse? That's what I'm gonna find out today. I'm gonna make a list of challenges I will have to complete without the mouse. I added some custom shortcuts myself. To do that yourself, you're going to press on Alt, Control, Shift and K and then the window for keyboard shortcuts and menus is going to open. And then you will be able to change the shortcuts in File, Edit, Image, Layer and the other ones. And here I'm gonna use the Escape key so I can exit that window because I'm not allowed to use the mouse. On to challenge number one, where I have to edit this picture in camera raw filter without the mouse. But first, I will have to duplicate our layer so we do a non-destructive edit. To do that, we're going to press Ctrl, Alt and J. And then we're going to give it a name, for example, landscape, or you could name it sky if you want. Now we have duplicated our layer. Now we're going to press on Ctrl, Shift and A to launch camera raw filter. Then we're going to wait until it launches. Here it finished loading, so to toggle between the different menus, we're going to use the tab key. Here's how it looks like I'm going to put a picture on the screen. We're going to use our tab key to toggle between the different settings. So let's start with temperature. So we're going to aim for a yellow tint. So we're going to bring the slider to the right. So maybe 30 could be nice. There you go. And now in the tint section, we're going to go for a pink tint. So we're going to enter something between 50 bit more and 65. 65, I like that. Now we're going to increase the exposure by a bit with the upper arrow key on the keyboard. Now let's increase the contrast by about 10, decrease the highlights by maybe 10, the shadows we're going to up that to 10, the whites we're going to decrease that by 5, up that by 5, then we're going to maybe add some clarity, 5, and now we're going to add some saturation, maybe 10. Here we entered our first limitation. We are not able to open the other menus because we don't have a mouse. So we have to be satisfied with that. So let's press an enter to close camera raw filter. And now let's change our sky. Here I created a custom shortcut, which is Ctrl and F5. And here it opens the sky replacement feature. Now we're going to wait until it's done here we go, yes, it does not match, but I'm not allowed to use the mouse. It even says drag to move the sky layer, but no mouse for me. So here we will have to be satisfied with this sky because we are not able to change it to another sky because we would need the mouse to click on the sky box. So I'm gonna go with the preset one. Now on to our third challenge, which is going to be to use Content aware fill to remove our model from the bridge. First, we will have to hide our layers from the sky replacement group and all the other layers like layer one and landscape. So, first, we're going to uh, enable that little search box by pressing Alt, Ctrl, Shift, and F. And now we're going to enter, for example, sky. And now we're going to press enter. And now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, and A to select it. And now we're going to press Ctrl and comma to hide them. Now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F again to uh, clear the box. Now we're going to enter foreground is enough. So the layers do show up. Now we're going to press enter to deselect the search box. And now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl and A to select them, Ctrl and comma to hide them. Now we're going to do it one last time for the backup layer. So we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F and then we're going to enter layer 0. Alt, Ctrl, A and now Alt, Ctrl. There we go. And now we have our background layer. And now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F and we're going to clear out our search box. Here I also created some custom shortcuts. All the shortcuts in this video with Ctrl and an F key are custom, so they're not going to work on your site if you don't have configured them 
the same way. So first we will have to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F and then we're going to search layer 0. Now we're going to press Enter and then press Alt, Ctrl and A. Then we're going to press Ctrl, Alt and J to duplicate our layer. Now let's give it a name, for example, Girl, and then press Enter. And now we're going to make another copy for our fourth change. So let's press again Ctrl, Alt and J. It didn't work, so I will ah, I see why, because our layer 0 is not selected. So let's press Ctrl, Alt and A to select our layer again. And now Ctrl, Alt and J. And then this one we're going to name it Lake. So we have three copies, so Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F to clear the box. And now we're going to choose again Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F. And then we're going to choose Lake and to press Ctrl, Alt and A to select our layer. And now we're going to select the girl with the selection tool. Here I'm going to press Ctrl and F7 so it enables the selection tool. Now we're going to wait until Photoshop is done selecting it. Now we're going to expand the selection this is also a custom shortcut and here I'm going to press Ctrl and F8 to open expand selection. Then I'm going to enter for example 50 pixels and then I'm going to press enter to expand our selection. Now I'm going to press Ctrl and F9 to enable content aware fill. And here you can see that Photoshop already selected an area. We're not able to change it because we have no mouse. So let's press on enter. Now. We can see that it didn't work, but I know why. First, what we will have to do is we're going to press an Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F. And then we're going to use the search box to hide the layer girl. Because the layer girl was surely above our layer we used to hide it. So we're going to press Enter and then Ctrl, Alt and A. And now Ctrl, Comma to hide it. And here you see that our layer was behind. So we're going to press Ctrl and D and now our layer is hidden. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F again to hide that. For the fourth challenge, we're going to remove the background so we only have our model in the picture. First, we will have to hide this layer and we're going to make our other layer that we have hidden visible again. So we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F and then we're going to enter, um, which is it? Is it's lake? Alt lake. Now we're going to press Control Alt and A, and now Control comma to hide it. Now our girl is visible again. Now we're going to press Alt Control Shift and F, and now we're going to enter girl. And then we're going to make this layer visible again. Now we're going to press Alt Control A. And now Ctrl and comma. Now our layer is visible again. And first we're going to hide layer zero because then it's going to look like again like the previous challenge that it didn't work. To do that, we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F again. And now we're going to enter layer zero. Now we're going to hide this layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt and A, Ctrl and comma to hide it. Now we're going to do the same procedure again to hide it. Now we're going to use again this shortcut to select our layer that's called girl. Now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl and A to select our layer. Now we're going to press again on Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F to clear the box. Now we can again use our custom shortcut Ctrl F7 to select our girl. So we're going to wait until it's done. There we go. And here we are not going to expand our selection because then we would have some of the background in the picture. Here we will have to press Ctrl, Shift and I to invert our selection. So now let's press on the delete key and then we're going to press Ctrl and D. And here what I was able to do without the mouse. It looks actually decent. So I'm actually pretty surprised how it turned out. Now on to our last challenge, which is transforming the last layer into a black and white picture. So we're going to go back to our layer that's called uh, lake and then we're going to transform into black and white because we are not going to touch our backup layer. So we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F. And then we're going to enter girl and we're going to hide this layer by pressing Alt, Ctrl and A and Ctrl and comma to hide it. And now we're going to press Alt, Ctrl, Shift and F and then we're going to enter lake and then we're going to make this layer visible again. So press Control Alt and A, Control and Comma to make it visible again. And this one it's going to be actually pretty easy. We just have to press Alt, Control, Shift and B, and then we're going to press Enter. And here we go. I hope you like this video. 
If you did, don't forget to give my friend the like button some love and a subscription would be clicking. See you in the next one and take care of yourself.